Tortello in Wicker Park. There's no mystery to this restaurant. When you walk up, you know exactly what you're in for, which is fresh, homemade pasta. Is it made every day? We made pasta every single day. We import the flour from Italy, which is, to me, to me, it's a game change. Something tells me you know what you're talking about. I love what I'm talking about. Where were you born and raised? So I was born and raised in Venice. Been lucky, spoiled kids, eating amazing food every single day. I don't want to lose tradition and it's my job. I feel responsible, if I can use this word, I feel responsible as an Italian, born and raised in Italy, to don't lose what my grandmothers, my grandfather did it. Uh, I feel responsible of kind of a new generation. So I have two kids, so I hope one day they understand that eating a healthy, good quality food is the daily base every single day. I always dream to have my pasta shop. I grew up eating pasta twice a day. And I see the pasta is made oh, right up front yeah. in the window. I always thought if I have a beautiful piece of art, what am I going to put in the, in the bathroom or in the living room? And that is my living room. This is our living room. And, uh, and I think it's a, it's a gorgeous way to show people where pasta come from, which doesn't come from a plastic bag, which doesn't come from a shelves. Flour, water, flour and eggs. So Alex, you are the head Svolina. What does that mean? Uh, so uh, it's a pasta maker, but specifically the people who used to make handmade pastas. You can't get the same feel for the flour when you throw it all in the mixer. Flour really changes its texture depending on things like what season it was harvested in. Uh, whether it's wet or dry outside, there's so many factors. How do you feel about the fact that everyone has an up-close and <laughs> personal view of you in the window making pasta? Uh, well, it certainly keeps us on our toes, <laughs> but um, we love it. We, you know, it's such a big, big part of the restaurant and we get such good responses. When we first opened, like the crowds out there, just as they went past, people would, you know, do a double take and then press themselves up against the glass. When I came to America, I mean, uh, uh, the difference between the, yolk, the color of the yolk in Europe mm -hmm. is kind of different than the color yeah. of the yolk in uh, America. In Italy, we call it rosso dell'uovo, which means the red of the egg. We study the diet of the chickens, uh, and uh, we start to incorporate to the diet some uh, um, marigold first, which is a, a natural seed flower. And we decide to incorporate a part of paprika. Paprika. Okay. So that, in a month and a half, change the color wow. at the, one I, the color I want. The best part of the paprika is that we figure out that the, the digestion of the chicken it is 10 times better now. Oh, okay. So the chicken produce more eggs, they are much healthier. Can you tell me the name of the farm that you're working with? Uh, Yapilion. Okay. Yapi Hill is a Wisconsin. What does Very Tortello nice. mean? Tortello is the shape of pasta, coming from uh, the region of Emilia Romagna, Bologna, uh, north of Italy. And it's also our signature dish, which I'm pretty confident oh. on the dish. So it's an amazing dish that we fill with the fresh burrata cheese. We cook in butter and sage and hazelnut on top. Okay. It's such a, I mean, to me the dish is unique because it's very simple. The simplicity, the beauty, and the classy of the dish is something that, to me, it's one of the best things I've tried in my life. Almost 100% of the dishes are traditional dishes from Italy, with a little twist. I'm here with Duncan, he's the executive chef, gonna talk a little bit about the sauces. You got great quality product, the pasta. What's your inspiration for the sauces and what you create? Well, we really just react to the shapes. You know, every pasta, every shape has a sauce that complements it. And so what we do when we're trying to figure out dishes is we look at the classic preparation of it and we think about whether or not it's best to leave it alone or if we should improvise a little bit and sort of add uh, like a twist. Everything we do is really like heavily dictated by what's available at the farmer's market. I work a lot with Beth from Green Acres. Your personal favorite right now? Right now I like the spaghetti. It's just three things, you know, it's the spaghetti and really good tomato sauce, stracciatella, and basil, so I guess it's four things. What other standouts do you have? Oh, Cuzon is coming from a shape of pasta that probably not many, many people see before. It's unique from Sardinia, which is an island on the Mediterranean. It's semolina and water, and the best part is that the kind of pasta, the kind of shape of pasta, can absorb all sauce. 
So we combine with the ingredient from Sardinia, saffron, pork, sausage and onion in a very light cream. We serve with zucchini, mm -hmm. we cut as a spaghetti style and uh, we serve with on top some amazing organic beef ragu. We try, and people love it. That's good for people on a diet that can't eat carbs. Absolutely, and they almost have the same thing. Uh, I think tradition, they, met, they need to stay alive, but we need to create a new tradition. And this is my generation, our generation, then it's responsible. I use again the word responsible because that is a responsibility. We need to bring something in.